from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Friday, April the 16th, 2021. A rocket was fired last night from Gaza at southern Israel, just as Israel's Independence Day, Yom Ha'atzma'ut, was concluding. Fortunately, the projectile landed in an open area and no damage or injury was caused. The IDF tweeted, 73 years after declaring independence, our fight to defend our freedom continues every day. And several hours later, the IDF shared that in response, IDF fighter jets and attack helicopters struck a Hamas weapons manufacturing site, a weapons smuggling tunnel, and a military post, adding, we will not tolerate any threat to Israeli civilians. Israel's President Reuven Rivlin hosted his annual celebration of Yom Ha'atzma'ut at the President's residence in Jerusalem yesterday. Attendees this year included for the first time the envoys to Israel of the United Arab Emirates and Morocco. And Rivlin told those in attendance that on this Independence Day, we are also celebrating the new spirit of peace spreading throughout the Middle East. The Emirates Embassy in Israel posted a photo of the Israeli and Emirati flags side by side yesterday, tweeting that it wishes the people of Israel a happy 73rd Independence Day, Yom Ha'atzma'ut Sameach. Rivlin also told the crowd at the gathering, it is my hope and prayer that the widening circle of peace will also bring closer our Palestinian neighbors. And today, the foreign ministers of Israel, the Emirates, Greece, and Cyprus met in Cyprus, the first meeting of its kind between the four countries. Gabi Ashkenazi, Abdullah Ben Zayed, Nikos Dendias, and Nikos Christodoulidis, respectively, discussed economic and security issues as well as the coronavirus pandemic, particularly in regards to future safe travel between the countries and later were to meet with the president of Cyprus, Nikos Anastasiades. Ashkenazi wrote that this is a first tangible step toward expanding the positive impact of the Abraham Accords. He said the ministers will discuss issues of great importance to the entire region, particularly Iran's aggressive policy and the destabilization of the Middle East that results from it. The group plans on establishing regular meetings to promote their country's shared regional strategic interests. Well, with coronavirus cases significantly low in Israel and over half of the country now fully vaccinated against the virus, as of this Sunday, Israel will no longer require masks to be worn outdoors. Health Minister Yuli Edelstein made the announcement late yesterday while at the same time stressing that masks will still be required indoors in public spaces. An online program with Palestinian terrorist Leila Khaled has now been dropped by its sponsoring platform. The Algemeiner reports that Eventbrite removed the San Francisco State University sponsored event scheduled for next Friday, which featured Khaled as one of its speakers. Leila Khaled is a member of the Popular Front for the Liberation of Palestine and played a significant role in two hijackings, one of a Tel Aviv-bound TWA flight in 1969 and of an El Al plane in 1970. Eventbrite told the Algeminer that due to one of the speakers' affiliation with a foreign terrorist organization, this event violates our terms of service, so we have removed it from our platform. Now, if you recall, another event last year with Khaled at the same university was also taken down, ultimately, from major streaming platforms for the same reason. The American Jewish Committee thanked Eventbrite for taking the action, saying that terrorists who glorify violence against Jews and Israelis should play no role in students' education. Steven Spielberg has announced a new film foundation, Jewish Story Partners, to fund Jewish documentaries. Together with wife Kate Capshaw, Spielberg said, we are especially proud 
to help establish this initiative, which will make visible a fuller range of Jewish voices, identities, experiences, and perspectives at a time when social divisions run painfully deep and mainstream depictions too often fail to reflect the Jewish community in all its complexity. Filmmaker Roberta Grossman, who has been a guest on JBS, will serve as director of the project. Taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS for Friday, April the 16th. Live Shabbat services are coming up at 6 o'clock from New York City's Central Synagogue, followed by Shabbat services from the Hampton Synagogue. At 8.30, it's the film The Word Maker, telling the dramatic life story of Eliezer ben Yehuda, who championed the cause of modern Hebrew. At 10, the Reverend Dr. James A. Forbes discusses interfaith dialogue, secularism, and other issues concerning religious leaders in the modern day with Rabbi Joseph Potasnik on Faith to Faith. At 10.30, a replay of the Hampton Synagogue services, followed by an encore presentation of the Central Synagogue services. And coming up next, a look at this week's Torah portion. And that's the JBS News Update for Friday, April the 16th, 2021. I'm Tisha Bader. Stay healthy, stay well, and Shabbat Shalom. <laughs>